revolution. Look, Marklins, on standby. Log online. Fam page loaded and ready. Player stats loaded. Health check. Go. Weapons check. Ice check. Complete. We have launch for the informant podcast in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Informant Podcast. I'm Pistol Pete from Spockholm. I'm not. What's up? Damn you! I was going to do that! <laughs> <laughs> I seriously was going to do that. I was going to wait for you to say something, and I'm going to go, you're not. Anyway, <laughs> that was uh, Mig Chainsaw Chester, which that's I'm right. not. <laughs> and my little preemptive strike. Yeah. That's right. Blasted. And then we have Jana with us this evening. Jennifer's... Take Wait a minute, she's MIG Death by Gucci. Jenna, MIG Death by Gucci, yes. And then Jennifer, the Muffy Wars loot lady, has the evening off. She is spending time with her family. Nice. So, yep, very nice for her. So, I know she'll be disappointed that she didn't get to join us this evening, but... And I think she had a lot to say, too. So. I'm sure she did. There's a lot of things going on again. That's right, it's but Sunday. Hey, for the rest of us, our ears are safe. <laughs> for this episode. The blog, not so safe. That's right. You just have to poke your eyes out. Yeah, she said, well, yeah, because she's had a lot of stuff going on. There's been new missions, there's been lots of glitches, problems. Stuff, the, your crate came out. Yep. I wasted a bunch of reward points and never got you in the crate. Oh, that's no? genius. So, mm -hmm. everybody, Migs, uh, Death by Gucci, and our Jenny Gucci uh -huh. <laughs> was in the crate. Mike's in the hopper, and she's in the crate. Yeah, let me out. <laughs> Well, you I get did. out a little bit more I, I often said, than right, Mike. I'm gonna, I put 12 reward points in, and I said, I have 15. That's all I've got. And so I was like, if I don't get it, I don't get it. And lo and behold, one shot, one kill, baby. <laughs> you I got, got Miss Pack. Jana. I got my Jana. That's uh, I forever I think I'm going to be stuck with this Pac-Man reference. That's right. You are. But it's cool, you know. You've been immortalized in gaming hell. In gaming hell. <laughs> that is correct. That's awesome. It is pretty cool, though, when you get to thinking about it, that, you know, to, that you will, I mean, until they ever deleted your item out of the game. I'm stuck in the game You're forever stuck now. in the game. <laughs> so it's either you're stuck in the crate, or you're stuck in the game, or you're stuck in the hopper. I mean, where are you going to go? Exactly. I don't so know. I've, I have a question for you, though. Okay. What are you holding in your hand? Um... It's a gun. It's just imaginary or invisible. <laughs> I don't She's see like Wonder that. Woman. I don't see anything in <laughs> your hand. It's like my jet. <laughs> her gun and, and well, her jet in are the original invisible. picture that they took that from, I'm holding a blowtorch. And they took that out because I guess it had no relevance to the crate, which I don't know why not. But they took it out of my hand, left me empty handed, and imaginations have run wild. So great. <laughs> That's right. So at MIG, what we're doing is we're having everybody put something in Jana's hand. Thank you. <laughs> so people are starting to be creative and put different things in Jana's hand. So I'll open it up to the rest of you listeners. Oh, thanks. You, you all can. <laughs> I'll put a thread up on the Facebook page. And oh, you guys dear. can post in your favorite, um, your Jana pick. But keep it clean. Or not. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Just Please. put something in Jana's hand and uh, post it up there. Would yeah, Zynga left it. me empty-handed. They didn't even give me a crate. That's right. Mm -hmm. So they put her in a crate, but they didn't give her. I would like to see someone Photoshop your head in my hand. Oh, that would be classic. Oh. Yeah, like like I'm Where's holding this you going? by. This all needs to get cut. That's wrong. You can't do that to me. Uh, it would be awesome. <laughs> see what happens. You retire and you get no respect. Yeah. He's the one that's invited people to do this to me. <laughs> I'm just asking for a request. All right, one head. picture of my head in your hand. Oh, on that note. That, yeah, that should get cut. Pistol Pete, what do you got going on, brother? We are just plugging away. Well, actually, we've been doing emergency repair on, like, Assassinator and stuff. Zynga made more game changes. Broke Mission Crew Link and broke Assassinator, and so we were cramming to get that stuff fixed and repaired i think it was last night or the night before last i can't remember now it was right when the new ice seasons and stuff came back out again we got those back up and running fairly quick 
um, and then still just gearing up to get the toolbar out so that everybody can start enjoying it. We've got some more features that have been added into it in the beta version for those that have it. Um, it's now got the capability to back up settings in uh, right now just the toolbar, but it'll also have the capability to back up settings in other spocklets too. I'm trying to think if there's any other little spocklets that have come out. Little spocks, no. And I don't I know think Jen was hoping onions. Which app? I know Jen was hoping you would say something on the warning pop ups. What warning pop up? Um, for people that are getting this uh, account has been flagged for continuous use, like if you play for more than twenty hours. Nice. What about for those insomniacs? Well, it's without a minimum of four hours in between or something. I don't know. I didn't know Who if you knew cared? more about it. Yeah. Uh, if we're in a war. I mean, look at the Battle of the Sexes. I know. There are people that did not sleep for days. I mean, lots of lots hey. of Red Bull. I'm not a big sleeper, and I, you know, usually when I'm up, I'm playing. And so <laughs> she said, <laughs> "Well, she enjoys when I'm playing." <laughs> That's beside the point. <laughs> anyway, but. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say about that. I mean, it, you know, typical that they're just trying to control who and when and what time and everything anybody can play. And, you know, if you're, if you're truly like on a Saturday afternoon, if I'm not doing something with the family or whatever else, I'll sit around the house and play all day long. Mm -hmm. So what I have to have what every two hours and then they're forcing me to get up and go exercise. Please. It's housework. <laughs> <laughs> they're just trying to be socially responsible. Yeah, that's right. I'm guessing. You know, well, well we're going to shut you down for four hours so that you got to go out and mow the yard or something like that. Oh, I don't like know. our nanny or something. Yeah. So I don't know. But yeah, I, I don't even I don't even know how to address it at this point because we really don't know what that really means. I mean, is it just means that they're going to just try to stop people that are doing a bunch of, you know, fighting? I thought it was to keep people that are running bots. Well, that may be true, but there's a lot of What's people that, well, it's a waffle bot. A waffle botter. <laughs> Zinka added them to the game. They're the botters. No. Um, I, I, yeah, it's probably to prevent people that just leave a script running for hours and hours and hours without any attention. You know? It, it, the nerve of them to go out and exercise while they're playing. Yeah, or something like <laughs> That's that. That's right. Go out and play a round of golf or something like that and come back and hope you've got enough ices for your ice seasoning. I don't know. But <laughs> I, the issue I think they're going to have with it is that there are a lot of people that play a lot and they don't use scripts, and now they're going to get the same warnings that they're, you know, doing, you know, playing for too long. And I, I just, I don't, well, who cares, really? I mean, who cares? Well, I mean, if you're sitting there paying attention to the game in some capacity, whether or not you're running a script to do some of it in part, you're still, most people are still somewhat engaged in the game because you can't just walk away from it. Well, no, some people really have tried, but it's never really worked out. But I've seen a few come back lately. Yeah. <laughs> I, so I don't know. I, I'm kind of holding my breath and wait and see what happens with it and what that really means, you know, as far as who's going to be impacted by it. Are they just trying to stop something like the Mafia Wars autoplayer that basically just does everything for you? Mm -hmm. And if that's the case, then yeah, okay, so be it. I think that you know it's for the better. That that is what I would consider a bot. It's something that plays the game and it does every action for you without any manual intervention. It even posts for you, doesn't it? It does everything. Because I've seen some posts that just don't look the same and I think it comes from that certain one. I mean, I've got a lot of respect for the guys at Player Scripts. It's a heck of a piece of code, but it is what I would qualify as a bot. You know, bot, bot. But, you know, then like the stuff we have at Spockholm, you know, there's someone could say, well, yeah, the repeat job or the assassinator fights for you without you having to do anything. That's a bot. But I think when you have some kind of intervention, you know, if you're going to do one task and then you're going to have to stop whatever that that script you're using and go start up another one, you've created that manual intervention. It isn't a true bot. A true bot would just basically just keep playing regardless of whether or not you're sitting there or not. Now, do the servers at Zynga read that? Is that how they know, like, a certain amount of time passes and there's too many clicks, or...? Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure in part, that's what started it all for them when they started looking at statistics on their servers, was they'd look for certain IP addresses, 
that would be generating a certain amount of traffic. And then they'd find stuff that was within reason based on their criteria and some things that weren't. So, I mean, that's what started originally creating these messages that said, you're, you know, you've had an unusual amount of activity, you know, and then you get a warning you message. Pay too much. Stop well, playing, you, damn it. You've clicked too fast. It's like saying you can't spend any more money either. Like yeah, when I, they put the limit on people. That was just yeah. stagnant. Um, yeah, but anyway, so I, I, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure where it's going to go, and I'm, we'll just wait it out and see. But you know, funny enough, we're talking about bots and the, you know, the waffle bot thing. They uh, finally uh, acquiesced and gave proper credit to everyone that actually collected on their uh, Harold and Kumar event. Um, so if you've captured five on each side, then and you had collected it you would get the actual they credited people's accounts with the correct number of waffle bots did they give people so, a pop-up on that or should it just be in your inventory no as i understand it they actually gave people a pop-up but if they weren't paying attention they could go see that they got the additional waffle bots in their inventory it ba mm -hmm. basically i think the message is something to the effect of you know we we made a mistake i mean really that's what it came down to we, so we, we were zinga yeah, well, you know, kudos to them. I'm glad that they stepped up and did sort of the right thing for those people because, you know, the idea of, and we've talked about it, that you can gift, and gifting is gifting to me. I, I don't care whether or not you're gifting from the free gifts or you're gifting straight to somebody. If something is giftable, that it's giftable. And, um, you know, I, I hope that in the future, if they don't want someone to be able to gift around something like in an event like this they'll just change they'll make it not giftable and or change the stats on it that prevents it from being giftable giftable based on their current criteria for what is able to be gift and gifted and not gifted so and then i don't know what else we got we got um i talked about the limited time mission we have a cross game promotion with the mafia war shakedown on the iphones and then I guess there's rumors that they'll soon be making it available to Android and stuff. Did we'll, you try? Oh, you have Android, don't you? I have an Android phone. I haven't even tried. Um, I love my Android. I've tried it. I'm getting a new uh, Android Razor. Oh, Android Razor. Razor. Yep. I liked my Razor back in the day. Oh, I loved my, my Motorola Razor, the original. Oh, uh -huh. I loved that phone. It was great. And then, uh, then I've had several iterations of the Androids. And the last one I had was the Droid X, which has a huge display on it. I love it. But it, yeah, it's kind of clumsy, so I'm, I've decided to try the Razor. So should be here nice. this week. Sweet. You'll have to let us know. Give yeah. us a review on it next time. Yes. Oh, we'll do that. I've, I've had good luck with the, the Motorola phones. So, And I think, really, that's about it for me. Hopefully, by the time the next show airs, we'll, we'll have... Well, don't we have an icing event going on? Yeah, yes, ice seasons. Do. Yeah, I mentioned that, too. Did you? Yeah, because oh, we, cause, yeah, because it when that came out is when Assassinator broke. Yeah. And I then did. we and we have not added, or at least I don't think we have yet. I have to go look, but I don't think we've yet added the filtering based on the badges, because I don't know if they've actually re-added the badges or not. I never paid enough attention to see. So. My page has just been jumping all over the place, mostly in family battles, but. Yeah, the I, ba badges are back the old way with the numbers. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to we'll have to go in and update our filters. So if people want to filter off the badges, they'll be able to do that. And then, and then with this icing event, though, I got to tell you, and I don't know if you're experiencing or not, too, fighting off the fight list, man. There are so few people alive. Nobody's alive. This is exactly what happened last last time. I knew exactly when it started. Yeah. Because I was dead and I was never able to be alive again. Hmm. I mean, I would I would heal up. Boom, I'm dead. Because everybody's fighting tooth and nail to get those. Uh... I think you get plenty of time to do it. <clears throat> well, you I do. Think Mike Nestor finished that like second day. Well, he ice is like a maniac, and he's yeah, like he's Mike over like two hundred k combined or something. <laughs> Not really. I'm just teasing, but we must be we must be feeding him well in the hopper. <laughs> yeah. That's right. You cut him in off. Chicken feed. <laughs> But stop to that. Anyway, that's probably it for me. And I think we kind of covered, you know, a few of the game changes. Jen will obviously get into a lot more detail when she and gets back. Tell us everything we forgot. Yep. <laughs> well, what's up with you, Chester? 
Nothing. You having a good week? I'm having a great week. Fantastic. You warmongering 